Hey guys, it's Mega. So Akko sent us these Akko Lavender Purple Pro V3s. Wow, that's a lot of words. Which is another tactile switch in their Pro series of switches. So I thought, why not put it up against a crowd favorite, the Akko Cream Blue V3 Pro. Personally, I love the color, so I might be a little biased. Let's see who wins. So first off, let's talk about the new contender, the Akko Lavender Purple Pro, which has a bottom and a top housing made out of PC or polycarbonate, and a stem that is made out of palm, which is now dustproof compared to its predecessor in the CS line. So now it's dustproof or box top, if you will. And now it has a 40 gram, 21 millimeter long spring. And this boy is long. Comparing this to the Cream Blue Pros, they are almost similar, except the bottom out of the Cream Blues are 0.5 mm higher, where the Lavender Purples have a 3.8 millimeter travel, while the Cream Blues have a 3.3 millimeter travel. But interestingly, the Purples have less of a pre-travel, this basically means you feel the bump sooner on the purples over the cream blues. But it will be hard to notice the difference for that since the difference is not so much. Maybe around 0.3 millimeters. So for the springs, the cream blues have a 45 gram, which is a 19 millimeter long spring. And the purples have 40 grams with a 21 millimeter spring. So a bit longer on the purples, but I doubt it will make that much of a difference in terms of snappiness and overall feel. But then again, it is a big difference when it comes to the 5 gram differential between both of them. One major difference both switches have are the stems. Both are made out of palm, but the cream blues are a little longer than the purples. So definitely a reason for the lesser travel of the cream blues. In terms of tactility, they are mostly the same. For the housings, the purples have a PC top and bottom. Unlike the cream blue that has a PC top, but a PA or nylon housing on the bottom. In my opinion, this gives the purples a deeper sounding bottom out compared to the cream blues. Both the cream blues and the purples are factory lubed on the rails. There really is no need to lube them further unless you want a less tactile switch. But other than that, springs are not pinging at all and they seem like they were already lubed. Anyway, so with the parts out of the way, let's type on both of them on my Tiger 80 Lite with the cat white on black PBT keycaps. Double shot of course.
In conclusion, I think both are great switches. But what comes down to it is that the Cream Blue Pro is more on the clacky side and the purples have a deeper sound profile. One reason for this is the length of the stems on them and the different bottom housing materials. So which one is better? Well, honestly, none of them are inherently better than the other. It will really be up to the user if they like a deeper sound profile or a clackier sound profile. Really, it would depend on you. Again, we bring up the word preference. So anyway, if you guys made it this far, thank you and hit the like button. You did go all the way to the end. You deserve that extra click. Go ahead. I'm allowing you to. Anyway, till the next time, see you guys.